Hey, it's been a while. I've been sort of gone for a good while now, and I've missed making videos. Now that I've got a bit more time on my hands, it's time to get back to work. So with that said, let's get started. Season 1 of Sodor Then and Now is the longest ongoing project I've completed up to this point, and I'm so glad I finished it. Now that this three-year endeavor is completed, I can finally move on to continuing the series that I've worked so hard to create. But first, I just want to cover a few questions I've been asked over the past few months. Will there be a Season 2? Yes. Season 2 is currently being planned out as we speak, and there will be 10 episodes, like Season 1. Which characters died? Which survived? Well, that is for me to decide, and also to know. What I can confirm, though, is that Sir Bertram Topham Hatt and Patrick Boomer are both dead. Will Oliver be a part of the railway? Yes. Charles' first action as full director was purchasing Oliver and Toad from British Railways. Will Diesel be a part of the railway? Short answer, yes, but he won't be the number 12. Diesel's role in season 12 is complicated, and I don't intend on going into detail in order to avoid spoilers. When did Rusty and Duncan arrive? Rusty and Duncan arrived a few months before the events of episodes 9 and 10, and all will be explained in a moment. Why was Oliver introduced so early? Oliver is a character I've wanted to introduce for a long time, and ever since I got him on eBay a few years ago, I've been dying to use him. I finally got my chance in episode 10, and I've created an explanation that not only makes perfect narrative sense, but gives Oliver's arc an incredible opportunity that not many other characters have. Oliver's lead role in season 2 will touch on this as well. Will you be using voice actors? I'll get to that. And finally, when is season two? In short, I have no idea. I'll get into how I plan on producing season two in a moment, but first, let me digress a bit and talk about the short films because I'm sure you all may have questions about them. So, the short films are something that I've had planned for a while now, and I knew after I wrapped Boomer's Reign that I would need to be in production on them. However, things have changed. I initially planned to have 20 of these things, however, I've reduced the number to 15, and it may end up being reduced to 10. The shorts take place during Season 1 and fill in a lot of the time gaps that occur. For example, there is a nearly 25-year gap between Episodes 6 and 7, and the shorts cover a lot of that ground. The movie will also cover a lot of that ground. Some characters that also didn't get much focus throughout the season will get time to themselves in these shorts, including Percy, Reneas, Gordon, Rusty, and Duncan. The Fat Controller will also get a fair amount of screen time to further develop his character. Other than that, there isn't much to say about these shorts other than that I plan to film them all at the same time, and most of them will be around 8 to 15 minutes long. I'd like to have them released by around March or April of next year. Now, in terms of episode remasters, there isn't much to say here. I plan on remastering episodes 1 through 4 simply because they're much weaker than what came after it. I intend to not only get them up to the level of the last 6 episodes of season 1, but potentially even better. The scripts for the first 2 episode rewrites are done, I'm about a third of the way done the 3rd episode, and I've just started the 4th episode as well. These will be filmed alongside the short films and they'll be released around the same time as well. Now with that said, let's get on to what you actually care about, season 2. I'm going to be real with you guys, I will be very surprised if an episode from Season 2 is released this year, or even in the first half of next year. My plan for Season 2 will require a lot more time and dedication. Essentially, my plan is to film all of Season 2, all of Season 3, all of the Season 2 and 3 short films, and the Duke the Lost Engine movie all at the same time. Now before you viewers at home have a heart attack, let me digress. When I say the Duke the Lost Engine movie, I mean any scenes that take place either on the Standard Gauge Railway or the Scarlowy Railway. I'm not going to start filming a lot of the Mid-Sodor scenes, aka probably two-thirds of the scenes, until after seasons two and three are filmed and season two is fully wrapped. While season three editing is taking place, I will be filming the movie. However, the process of filming seasons two and three involve over 150 sets, including mainline sets, branch line sets, narrow gauge sets, and newly introduced Caldy Fell and Arlesdale Railway sets. 
There will be 15, maybe 10 short films for seasons two and three as well that once again cover a few of the gaps that take place in between each episode. A lot of these shorts will cover the Coldy Fell and Arlesdale Railway engines as they may not get a lot of screen time in the actual episodes. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about the elephant in the room, voice actors. So yeah, I'm gonna open up voice actors. Now hold on just one second before you send in auditions because this video is not a casting call. This is merely an announcement that yes, I will be using voice actors. I will be releasing a casting call next week that'll have all the details in regards to voice acting in my series. Be warned though, there will be rules and requirements for being cast, so not everyone is going to be a part of the series. I can't just let anyone be in this series because this series is a huge deal to me and I want to do it right. Now, with that out of the way, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm back, at least for now, and I can't wait to start filming and writing again. So, until the casting call, I'll see you all next time. Also, please listen to Silk Sonic, it's so good. Okay, bye. Yeah.